When working with a sketch that contains contours, you can use the Contour Selection tool to select portions of the sketch you would like to use. This means that in SolidWorks, you can use a partial sketch to build features by selecting individual contours within the sketch. The advantage to this is that it allows you to make most of the geometry in a single sketch, which you can then reuse to create multiple features from the same common sketch. In this lesson, you'll learn a couple of ways of working with a sketch that contains contours to build multiple features from. Here we have a sketch that contains multiple contours. And keep in mind, contours simply means regions. So the contour tool allows you to select specific regions in the sketch you, that you can then use to create features. There is a couple of ways you can activate the Select Contours tool. The first way is by simply right-clicking on the sketch, expanding the menu by clicking on this little double arrow, and then going to Contour Select tool. And you'll notice that the mouse cursor has now changed to a new symbol, which reflects the Select Contour tool is now activated. The second way of activating the tool is when you are actually in a sketch already, you can just go to a feature like the Extrude Boss Space and the Select Contours is automatically enabled. But we'll use this situation in a moment. Let's first use the original method by right-clicking on it, expanding the menu and going to Contour Select. When the tool is enabled, you'll notice as I move my mouse over the sketch, the different regions or the contours will highlight. To select multiple regions, you hold down the control key. So I'm going to select these three and leave out the center hole. What this is doing is pre-selecting the regions or the contours that I want to use for the next feature. And that feature is the extruded boss. So you notice because I did have those regions or contours pre-selected, they show up in the select contours dialog box, which you'll notice whenever you use a cut or extrude command, you'll have this selected contours dialog in the bottom here. We are just going to make this a simple 10 mil blind extrusion and select OK. Now we're going to use the original sketch to add some additional features to the model. We're going to use the second method of activating the contour selection tool by starting an extruded boss command. And this is going to ask us to pick a sketch or plane. We're going to pick the original sketch by expanding the uh, feature manager, going back down to the boss extrude and selecting the original sketch and making sure the select contours box is activated. We can pick these two areas and we are going to make this a 30 mil blind extrusion and push OK. You'll also notice that the sketch has changed the icon to a feature with a hand underneath it. Whenever you see this, it means that sketch is being used across multiple features. And now finally, to show the main advantage of the contour selection, whenever you make additional changes to the model, because you're only working from one sketch, it's much easier to make those modifications. So if I was to go to the original sketch and edit, and say we wanted to change this to a 50 mil length. And also this radius has changed to 70. And then we can exit the sketch, go back to our isometric view, and the whole entire model has updated. Normally, if you had done two individual sketches and two individual features, from those sketches, you'd have to go to the first sketch and make the modification, and then edit the second sketch and make the modification. But because we all did the entire geometry in the single sketch, and then use contours to build the features from it, we only need to make the modifications from that original sketch. So this is a very useful way of doing your sketching is to try and combine as many features that you see using in the future into that one sketch, and then just making all your modifications from that one sketch.